Continuing our review of MATLAB, we'll look at ways to input data and output data from MATLAB, as well as talk about arrays, which are an important part of MATLAB. So the input command um, allows you to prompt a user to input things from the screen. So you can see the um, uh, format of this after the word input uh, in parentheses and in, um, uh, in quotes as well is the message that you want to be displayed to the screen. When uh, this line is encountered in the program, then the execution is paused until you put a number in and then push enter. And then after that, whatever is input gets assigned to the variable name, uh, the identifier that's on the left side of the equal sign. Uh, if you just leave a semicolon off the end of a line in the MATLAB code, then that uh, variable will get echoed to the screen. The DISP command also can be used to show a variable's uh, value. But a lot of times we want to format the output in MATLAB. The fprintf command allows you to do that. It allows you, in, in addition to putting out the value of the variable, also to print some text describing that, units, etc. So we'll say if we want to output uh, we've calculated the number 460.58 and we want to uh, have this line printed to the screen then we would do this with the fprintf command and again what's shown in the um, single quotes is what gets printed to the screen now notice what comes immediately after the percent is what's called the conversion specification that's where the payment uh, amount will go and it'll be formatted in this place with in this time with two decimal places in what's called a fixed format. If we want to skip to the next line, then we would add a, um, a backslash into that. So you can see once we've done that, the um, uh, prompt for the uh, next command instead of coming right after the uh, the line with payment on it, we'll skip down to the next line. So that's all done within the uh, single quotes again, the backslash n. So again, all the conversion specifications begin with percent symbol, number of digits and decimal places, and finally the format type, F for fixed, capital E or lowercase e for scientific notation, and I for an integer. So here's an example where we're going to print out pi to three decimal places. Notice the 8.3 means it's going to take up a total of eight spaces. It's going to be right justified within those eight spaces and show three decimal places. Again, F for fixed. If we want to show it in scientific notation, either the uh, lowercase or uppercase E works for that. In this case, there are, there are no um, number of decimal places specified, so it defaults to the um, uh, short format of MATLAB. And here's one more where we're going to skip a line before and after. Again, the point F, point 0.4F, there's no um, uh, width specification, so it uses however much space it needs to be able to uh, print this in fixed format with uh, four decimal places. And finally, this last one, uh, skipped a couple of lines, so you can repeat the slash in as often as you want. And uh, the percent %i just means that the value of m in this case uh, will be displayed as an integer. So if you have more than one variable, then of course your um, conversion specifications must be in the same order that you specify the uh, variable names at the end of the, of the line. And so in this case, the uh, loan amount would be the first thing that gets printed and that will be with zero decimal places, the APR with one decimal place, and on the next line, the number of months as an integer, and the payment itself with two decimal places. And you can see how that gets printed out. If I wanted to show the percent key, I'd have to put that in twice because otherwise it would, uh, the percent key, remember, is um, assumed to be a conversion specification, so if you do the double, then uh, one of those percents would get printed to the screen. Now we'll talk about arrays. Arrays, again, are very important within MATLAB. Uh, ordered sequence of values. So it could be one-dimensional 
or two-dimensional. And uh, it can be higher order arrays, but we'll just use one and two D here. Uh, one and two degree, one and two D arrays can be called matrices, and a one D array can also be called a vector. So Excel also you can think of it as being a, a large two-dimensional array, and so each value, each item would be defined by its row number and its column uh, letter. That would be the address of that cell. In MATLAB, the location of each item, or it's called an element of the array, is, is uh, given by the index or indices of the row and um, column numbers. So remember, it's important to remember the indices have to be integers and have to start with one. So let's say that uh, for seven days a week we've, we want to store the high temperature. And we don't have to uh, give those different variable names. We can store them all in a one-dimensional array. So here's temp and square brackets. And a comma or a space separates all of those values. So again, instead of having to have separate seven separate names, they're all part of this uh, array that's called temp. Now, if I want to reference a particular uh, temperature within there, then it's index is how I do that. And again, they begin at 1 and go in integers. So temp of 3 would be the third value of 66. If I want more than 1, then um, I can use square brackets. So A of 2, 4, and 7 will make a new array with only the values of 8, 4, and 11. That is the, four, the second, fourth, and seventh values of the original array. 